Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd do the why do you wear makeup tag. I believe someone asked me to do this a while ago, like I mean like a while ago. And I had no idea what the tag was and I have time today so I was like okay let me look that up on YouTube and see what it is. It's just a couple of questions asking about makeup I guess. So let's start off. Um, when did you begin wearing makeup? So um, I want to say I began wearing any type of makeup was in middle school, 8th grade. I started wearing eyeliner and later in 8th grade I want to say I started wearing eyebrows as well. Those are the only two things I wore. I didn't wear anything else. Um, not even moisturizer. I didn't know anything about that by then. And then when high school came around is when I started experimenting and um, opened my eyes to a whole bunch of makeup and drugstores and a bunch of different brands and different things. I had no idea what a primer was. I didn't know that existed. I didn't know I had to wear moisturizer. So that was definitely intense like to learn everything at once by myself. So that's when YouTube came around and then I found out about that and I started learning from YouTube. And that really helped a lot. The first person I watched was um, Purse Buzz, um, aka Elisa. I still love watching her. She's like the inspiration for me. That's how I started my YouTube channel. Um, what inspired me to share my tips and tricks and how I do things. I've always been an artsy fartsy type of girl in school, in middle school, high school, whatever, throughout. So I thought it kind of made sense when the whole makeup industry came along and it just worked out really fine for me. So that's basically when I started officially wearing makeup was in high school. And middle school is when I started playing with like liner and eyebrows, which looked horrible by the way. So I uh, regret putting on anything then. Okay, next question is, what do you like about makeup? Well, I like makeup because it's fun. Um, it's fun to apply. It's fun to achieve all these different looks and you could do so many different like looks with just applying makeup and it's it's just a amazing thing that exists in our lifetime right now and I'm grateful to experience it um, I just enjoy it it's just the blending the colors the mixtures everything is just the results in the end you see from the difference of before and after or even just like a little bit of makeup to make it look more enhanced of your natural beauty anything you can make it dramatic natural middle whatever it is to please you or that makes you happy so you know even if it's just a little bit of a lipstick it's totally fine it's just it's just so fun I would say for me personally I'm so passionate about it so it can never feel like a chore or feel like a job um, hence that's why I'm a makeup artist at Sephora and I also freelance too but that just you know it's just so fun to make other people feel beautiful about themselves and make them see the traits that I see the good in themselves you know because we're our worst critics you know so it's nice to see someone else to show you how you look like we don't see the best features in ourselves so it really does help when someone else just give you that nudge like hey you have beautiful cheekbones or hey your lashes are so amazingly long you know girls will kill for that and just anything that can make anyone feel a little better for their day you know it's just share the love don't hate try not to pull each other down it's just that is such a impact in our lives nowadays that we forget our true selves. So, long story short, I love makeup. It's fun. It's amazing. Makes people feel amazing and look amazing. And it's great for photos. For long term wise, you can look at the photos back in the days and just feel beautiful about it. Even if you're like, you know, 80 years old later on, and you look back at it like, oh, I remember that day, and you know, so and so did my makeup, or I wore this makeup that day, and you know, stuff like that. It's just good memories to remember by. And doesn't hurt looking good at it too. Okay, question number two. How do you feel without makeup? I'm assuming without makeup on. Without makeup on, I'm fine, honestly. Um, For a minute when I was starting to really get into makeup and um, 
I was wearing it every day for tutorials and wearing it out in public and I realized that I've been wearing it so much that I was getting into one of those phases where I couldn't leave the house without makeup for a second and I, I promised myself I would never turn into that person who can't leave without makeup on. Um, just because my fiance loves me without makeup or with makeup, both, he see me both and he met me when I didn't know makeup and so he, he was a reminder for me. Personally, I didn't even notice I was like starting to have to put on makeup before I leave the house. He stopped me one day and told me, honey, um, I don't know if you noticed, but you're starting to have to wear makeup before you leave the house now with me or with in general. Um, I don't mind it. I love that you look beautiful either way. It's just that I don't want you to feel uncomfortable without makeup on around me or in public because you look beautiful the way you are. And then that really hit me hard because I had no idea. I was in shock. I had no idea. I was so like clueless and oblivious to things that I was just wearing makeup and just loving it and just didn't realize that I don't feel comfortable leaving the house without some kind of makeup on, some kind of coverage on. And I noticed that my skin wasn't doing so well either because of that. So it just makes sense for me to not wear as much so my skin can breathe and also embrace my natural beauty without having to prawn this look every day, you know, like, um, cause I don't have that time every day and I'm losing on sleep rather than sleeping. I'm waking up extra early to get that look on point the way I want it. So I'm just glad that I have my significant other to tell me, to knock some sense into me like, hey, you don't need all that makeup on every day. Um, it's nice that you do do it like once in a while, but I just want you to feel comfortable in your own skin and I love you the way you are. So that was really important. Um, I want to say for, I can't say for everyone, but for me personally, um, I did have, we all have insecurities obviously, but I don't want makeup to be one of those insecurities where I just have to put on a, a face to show in public. That was then and that was for a while and then I stopped and now I'm fine. I'm totally fine with leaving the house without makeup. Um, I just have to have moisturizer or sunscreen and lip balm because I don't I want to protect my skin from aging sunspots. So that's what I do. But I do also um, put on chapstick because I need chapstick all the time. But that's not really makeup. It's just skincare, you would say. So let's move on to the next question. So the next question was your three holy grail products you cannot live without, I guess. For me, honestly, is any type of lip balm, chapstick, um, an eyeliner, preferably liquid only, and what else? My eyebrows. So, rather be pencil, powder, creams, gels, whatever you can think of for brows that can tint it in, that's, I'm all for it. Those are the top three products I would personally need. It, it's funny because it goes back to when I was in 8th grade, like I mentioned, all I wore was liner and brows and chapstick. So, and my three holy grails are pretty much the same. Liner, brows, and chapstick again. I just feel like those are the best products for me personally. My face, my features, it brings it out more. Um, personally, I don't have really dark brows, so I need something to tint it in or else I look like I'm just pale throughout. Um, liner just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger because my eyes are a little bit small. It's more almond shaped, more like tiny, exotic like. Um, and lip balm because I hate chapped lips so I need some kind of lip balm to hydrate throughout the day. Um, I don't necessarily need color because naturally our lips have a little bit of tint of color. Um, that's about it really and you guys know I don't like mascara really much. I know I'm weird but then again mascaras don't really work on my stingy little Asian lashes so. It just makes sense for me. So yeah, brows, eyeliner, and chapstick. Yeah, those top of my top three holy grail products I cannot live without if I have to choose and cut down everything else I have. So yeah, that wraps up the tag. It was super short, short and sweet. 
Um, I want to tag everyone else who have not done this tag. It is actually really nice if you really think about it in depth of the questions. They actually bring out a lot in us. So hopefully you guys can share what you think of it and why do you wear makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy this tag and I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.